Hey, New Life, coming at you again this week with another word. So what word is it this week? Well, this week the word is holy. Holy. Now, hold on a sec. Before you shut off the video, as you're sitting there going, oh, holy, what a big word. Oh, man, is it even possible to achieve holiness? What are you going to say about holy? I don't even really want to hear it. I encourage you, listen real quick. Two questions when it comes to holy and two questions when it comes to holiness. First one is, why would I want to be holy? Why would I even have any desire to be holy? And second is, how do I become holy? Often when I meet with people and we talk about the idea of holiness, it seems so broad, it seems so grand, it seems so difficult that I don't even aspire to it because only God can be holy. And yet scripture tells us, be holy as I am holy. And it encourages us to be holy. So why would I want to be holy? Well, 2 Corinthians 7 verse 1 gives us a couple really good insights into why we'd want to be holy. Therefore, since we have these promises, dear friends, let us purify ourselves from everything that contaminates body and spirit, perfecting holiness out of reverence for God. Two reasons. First one is promises. If you jump back into chapter 6, we have promises. What are the promises? The promises are that God would be with us, that he would live with us, that we would actually be the dwelling place of God. And if God is living within us, we must purify ourselves from everything that contaminates body and spirit because God dwells within us. And these promises are great promises that God be with us, God would be with us to the very end of the age and dwell inside of us. So that's one reason I would want to be holy. Second reason I'd want to be holy is out of reverence for God, that we hold God in such high esteem and honor that we would want to be holy. We want a clean, clean dwelling place, and we want to be holy because we revere God. How many times have you invited somebody over to your house and you clean up your house because you think highly of the person coming and you want them to come into a space where they think, wow, I'm welcome here. Well, the same holds true with our being, that we clean ourselves, that we purify ourselves from anything that contaminates us, body and spirit, because we think highly of God because he dwells inside of us. Now, we're messy will be people that will be dirty at times. There's no doubt. Which brings us to the second piece of this then. How do we become holy? Well, this tells us, purify ourselves from everything that contaminates body and spirit. See, part of the holiness process is a purification process that we analyze our lives and we go, what is there in my body and spirit that needs to go away? How do I get rid of it? And the first thing we do is look internally. And we take scripture, we look at all of the things that we can do in our lives and say, hey, I must purify myself from all of these things. Second piece then, and this is what I want to land on for this week. Second piece is inviting people into our lives to help us in this process. See, the holiness piece is a communal aspect of how we live together as believers in Jesus Christ. This year, we're focused on community that we're focused on how we become a better community here at New Life. And one of those things is to become holy together, purifying ourselves because we've got the promises of God and we revere God. And so how we purify, our, purify ourselves is to look internally on our own and then invite people into our lives to help us with that process. I have four people in my life regularly that help me with that. I have someone personally that I go to who asks me, how's your marriage? How are you doing as a dad? How are you as a brother in Christ to other people? I have another person then who dreams with me, who thinks about the future, who says, yes, let's go for it. I've got a third person that helps me professionally, that gives me insight into how I teach, how I speak, the things that I do as a pastor. And then the fourth person that helps me leadership from a leadership perspective, somebody who's gone before me, who's ahead of me that I can sit down and go, how do I get better at this part of the job that I'm currently doing? Do you have those people in your life? Do you have people that are helping you towards holiness? Because what this verse says is perfecting holiness out of reverence for God. Well, perfecting means striving towards, actively doing it, covenanting to be holy out of reverence for God. As a community, we must come together to do that. Covenant, strive, actively move towards holiness. Will we achieve perfection and pure holiness in this life? No, we won't. But scripture says, try, strive, perfect it, covenant towards it, and be holy as I am holy. So this week, holiness, holy, purify yourself, 
perfect it, strive towards it, covenant for it, out of reverence for God, and then see what he does. Because if we all effort in that direction, God will continue to do amazing things through our community. Have a great week.